Hello there, uh, my name is John and uh, this time I would like to record this short video uh, just to test uh, the new system, the, the new uh, machine, the new computer and the new headphone with the microphone which is much better than using the mobile phone as I used to record videos since the beginning of uh, last year uh, 2020. But in this short video, instead of simply testing the, the, the system, I would like to talk about external forces. Uh, if you have a chance to read the book, um, um, Sub Publishing Experience, you realize that one of the topics discussed in that book is external forces. Now, what do I mean by external forces? I mean... Uh, our friends, our colleagues, our co-workers, even our uh, partners or even siblings can be the, the force that makes us uh, make decisions or do things that we don't really want to do uh, as a, a personal heart or having a reason to do what we are supposed to do. You see, I am after what we call self-discovery and uh, self-improvement and I think it is very rare especially in uh, South Sudan for someone to really uh, find out what they are uh, happy about for example I said in uh, other videos several times that my people may want me to do this or that but the question is is that what I want to do and when I ask that that question I don't also mean not to listen to any advice but <coughs> sorry I we have to understand that not every advice is a good advice uh, we can take an example of the uh, one of the sons of King Solomon in the Bible he was advised by elders to do the right thing but then he also seek counsel from his peer or from his age group and you know what happened when he listened to the his age group uh, the result was actually disastrous and that created the the division uh, in the in the nation of Israel the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom which is Judah you see so not every advice is a good advice that is the reason why you have to listen to your own heart you know when when making decisions especially uh, money can be an external force that forces you to do what you don't want because it has money doesn't mean you should go for it you see why because I'm looking at I'm looking after satisfaction when you do something even if it doesn't have money in it but it is your passion you are passionate about it you love it even if you don't have experience in that field for example, you want to be a video editor or, you know, a creative guy who want to edit photos with Photoshop or something. If you are really up it, you love it, you have passion for it, of course money will follow, money will come. That's what I mean by external forces. It can be money, it can be our close relatives uh, to force us to do something. Let me tell you this, uh, even parents sometimes want the children to be like them. They want them to do exactly what they want to do. I mean, I want my child to do what I want to do. But that's, that's not right. You know, it is not correct. Because my child is not me. He or she is a complete, different, and unique, and special human being with likes and dislikes and abilities and disabilities. Uh, strengths and weaknesses. You see, those... Uh, uh, flowers you know every one of us has so the very good thing I have to do is to help my child discover who they are and then what their careers are so that they improve themselves and also their careers so thank you so much for watching if you like this video especially the audio if it is improved please tell me in the comments section below I know it is very dark because it is at night but the, the next video will be excellent. So thank you so much for subscribing uh, to my channel. And I hope we'll be sharing these thoughts together. May God bless you. Shalom.